Owen. I mean, Dylan. Josh isn't going to be able to make it? Yeah. And uh, it, I'm pretty sure Ian also can't make it. Okay. Okay. Maybe we do it next week. Um, But, yeah. I think we can do it without them here. Aren't we just, like, discussing the people, like, the new people here? Um, well, we can no, also revisit, like, our old goals and stuff like that, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I wanted to revisit old goals um as well and just kind of talk about, like, the, the team charter on the whole because I haven't seen it a whole lot this season um, just because you know I'm like still the new guy here um, but yeah I think I think it would be necessary to do that with the full team um, personally also what what's the situation with battle oh they're, it's so bad they're not like, good and they're, they're also not, not reliable yeah so last year we would scrim battle because Hickman has the only esports room in the whole CPS district. Yeah, no, I've heard I've heard and the story about how they you know troll scrims and whatnot. Yeah, but like so they what, came what happened to the yesterday? scrim and half of their roster wasn't there, and then we asked them where they were and they were just like our roster isn't responding to us. Yeah, so they so got five of, eventually and we gave them yeah. Jaden, um, <laughs> but it was still like really rough. Wow, I we started like twenty minutes late, <laughs> and it was no, like, same. it was like yeah. a free scrim. It was so yeah. easy. And then they left at eight thirty, and they're supposed to go till nine. Their yeah. uh, pants are rage quit. Yeah, would they tell to Jaden? I imagine they were. <laughs> Panda Man left were, like so quick. Uh, one of them, I don't remember who it was. They were having a lot of lag spikes, and so that was irritating for them. And then like. Uh. Two of them said, I'm just going to stop playing Overwatch because I guess they were upset, but everyone else was fine. Uh, so at least half the team was very tilted. Got it. Yep. <laughs> because yeah. because we rolled them? or Yeah. Uh, one guy was lagging out a lot, and the other guy, I think, was Max, who were getting rolled. Like, yeah. I we, were, we were hard trolling and still rolling them. We do a little trolling. I Wait, played uh, a little bit. Not too hard. Yeah, we All do right. like little... Li Little trolling. We still know? took it seriously, but like, we messed around a little bit because it's hard to take a, ser a scrim seriously whenever it's like we're playing in quick play classic. Yeah. Like, I it mean, is just too easy. Yeah, the first them. couple of maps, like, for reference, Aiden, were like straight 100 zeros or full holds. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was really bad. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, like, build ult once in the first map because, like, nothing was happening. And <laughs> everyone heal. else is, like, ults building so slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Is everyone yeah, in there? Was, for the, there was one match where I didn't even get bolts. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Can everyone join for the headspace thing? Mm -hmm. I'm here. Make sure. Uh, we're we're at four right now out of six. I'm trying to I'm trying to get in. Okay. So. I'm trying to use a stupid Discord overlay, but there it is. Why are you using Discord overlay? Because I'm I'm trying to be. Hip and cool, you know what I'm saying? Like I got the an email. I got an email from GeoGebra, which I used last year for geometry honors. That's just, that's a good app. I do not know what that is. Um, All right. are we ready to head space, everyone? Yeah, everyone's yep. here. Yep. Yep. So welcome back to basics and to session six. Now, in the last session, I was talking a little bit about effort and and how much effort we need to apply and how effort can often be reflected in our in our body when we're doing this exercise. So today is just scanning down through the body. I'd just like you to pay special attention to any areas of tension where you might be resisting the tension in some way. Often when we find it, there's a sense of wanting to to get rid of it, to move away from it. And so we we apply effort. But notice what happens when you let go of that effort as you continue to scan down through the body, just leaving it as it is. Very often, that discomfort will start to unfold on its own. But we're going to begin in the usual way. So make sure that you're sitting comfortably with the eyes open, a soft focus. Just taking a big, deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you breathe out, just allowing the eyes to close. As the body presses down, just settling in to your posture, settling into the space around you. 
and just noticing how the body feels. Don't have to do anything, nothing to change. Just learning how to check in with the body. Knowing if we need to focus more or less. And at the same time, just starting to notice that movement of breath. Knowing that the mind will wander. Knowing that's okay. But remembering to notice when it wanders. To realize, to let it go. And just gently come back to the breath again. And noticing how each breath is different from the last. And then just for a moment, letting go of any focus and just allowing the mind to be free. And then bringing the attention back again. Just coming back to that feeling of weight. Back to the space, the sound, the smells around you. Just notice how that felt today. Especially in the body, whether you perhaps uncovered a little tension along the way. Or did you find that actually the body was, was quite relaxed already. It's important to remember that the, there isn't a right or a wrong here. and We're not trying to change anything. Simply in observing and becoming more aware, often the body will begin to let go of any tension or it will begin to sink a, a little deeper into that feeling of relaxation. So as much as possible, just being comfortable with the body and mind as they appear and just giving them the space to unwind in their own time. And I look forward to seeing you back here for session seven of Basics. All right. How did that feel? Good. Nice. Nice. To... nice to... Fighting. <laughs> Fighting. <laughs> Fighting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, you got the code scaling? Yeah. Sick. In. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll do the second half of review tonight. Um, okay. If you want to take this first half. Sure. Uh. Just uh, before we start this, did everyone get a chance to look over the last mod review? <clears throat> I did. I went over it. Okay. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna open with the uh Welcome to Oasis. 
there's some stuff to go over. Not a whole lot, because obviously the scrim was kind of a wash for a lot of it. Um, there were some like important points, especially early on, though, when we were like slightly more focused. Um, but um, I think uh, again, we want to use this like first like section a bit more like. Um, I, I my goal is to, like make it more interactive, I guess. Um, so let's go open with like the um, the L track game. How does that sound? Sure. All right. That's good. All right. Uh, we're just gonna do on a full. We're gonna do a full round, and I'm gonna I'm pause in the last fight. Okay. 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 Yeah. Um. So, you guys want to track your team from their perspective, or their team from your perspective? Them from us. Yeah. Them from us. Okay. Um. Uh, can you write these down, Aiden? Sorry. I got it. Okay. Characters. Bap, Reaper, yeah. Arissa, Anna, Genji, Ryan. Remember they swap? You guys are responsible for tracking it, although it'll be a bit harder to see if they've swapped, but you'll be able, you'll be able to see the characters at the walls, so. There won't okay. be any tab, though, unfortunately. Alright. Alright, I got them. Alright, turning them off. Whose POV are you watching it from? Uh, who do you guys want to watch it from? Or who do you guys want to watch it from? You can probably... See it the most either from your main tank or the flex support. I would say. Let's watch the Chad Thunder. All right. <laughs> oh, great. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Hello. Remember, you guys are free to talk, yeah. discuss whatever you like, drag things together. Really. Probably about 70 to window. And I think they almost have shatter. Yeah. They have shatter now. No, he did not. Window. Oh, spawn doors. All right, this is the last fight. The Reaper is close to ult. I think he has ult. I think Reaper has ult. Genji hasn't bladed yet. I'd say he has a nano I'd say they blade, have nano. No shatter. They have bongo. No window. They blade. So what do you think bongo, window's at? Um, window's at like 50 to 60. No, unless right. your map is like missing the floor somehow, then it's at like 50 to 60. I'm, I'm going to put my money on 40 because I think he's been uh, picked early. So we think they have Blossom, we think they have Nano, we think they have Blade, we well, think we they know, have Bongo. Well, we know, we like pretty much know they have Nano because they haven't used it yet. Mm -hmm. And same with Blade. Yeah. Okay. Where, where, where we think that Ryan's right. at for his next Shatter, do we say? I oh, think maybe. I'm about like 30-ish percent because I haven't done much here and I died after my Shatter. So I got like a couple of good swings in and then we got rolled. Epic chicken. 
Uh, I, I think I think I'm personally guessing twenty on Shatter, forty on. I'm Lugia. thinking twenty as well. Yeah. All right, so twenty on Ryan. Uh, everything else they have except Bapuno is, I think, was what everyone said, right? Yeah. Yeah. About, everyone's... Uh, we said they had Bongo. Yeah, they, they said Bongo. they had Bongo first. All right. And the team's Ready? thinking fifty to sixty yep. on. Uh, Bap, 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 and yep. I'm thinking forty. Nine. <laughs> Not even close. Okay, so Ana had her nano. Yeah. And they essentially Genji and Reaper both have their ults. Yeah, pretty much. They don't have Bongo. How do they not have Bongo? They've been on a wrist of the whole game. She hasn't know, had right? any impact, I guess. She didn't get to shoot anyone, right? Yeah. It's the same yeah. thing with Bap. Like he was alive for so long. Yeah. He he could have gotten at least forty percent off of holding right click on Jaden. Do we want to watch the Bap perspective from twenty seconds ago on? Sure. And then the Arisa perspective. Just to see what the impact uh, is. Okay. His bat windows, and then he like immediately it. gets made for it. No, he just did guessing. I mean, he barely got to heal before like everyone died, right? Yeah. yeah. And the window was going yeah. on the whole time, which ate his ult uh, time. And also, the Rissa just never got to shoot anyone realistically, so that's why your all charges so low. Yeah. That, see that number at the bottom right? That's damage. <laughs> yeah. That's 450 damage. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, yeah. That was pretty straightforward, I think. They and it's really hard to that. tell what their old charges are at when they've done nothing. Yeah. 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 Like, if. Like, because I, I had a map where I didn't get ult the entire time, and I didn't die, so you'd think I would have, but. There wasn't anything happening. Have you <laughs> used like a beat yet? No, not in this map. No. Oh my was God. Anubis a full hold? Yes. Uh, I think so. They didn't get the second. Maybe. Yeah, Anubis was a full hold and then we full capped. Uh, we did a good job holding, but then we got destroyed on the next push. There was no close. Like, everything was just a full sweep. Yeah. We got real... We got right. destroyed. Was... Right, we're gonna do next round, and we're gonna do it from their team's perspective. Because yeah. I think that's probably more interesting. <laughs> hey there. But who on their team do we want to watch? I don't know. There's so many bad options. Ready. Who do you guys want to watch? Let's watch it from Pandaman's POV. Pandaman? Okay. Let's watch. <laughs> let's watch him get a little frustrated. Widow on this map. Dang, that's a Fortnite awesome. player, by the way. It's okay, he's a Fortnite player. Okay. Uh, so these are the team comps. Oh, the Reaper's very far ahead. Um, so we're running Monkey Diva, Soldier Echo, and Ana Brig. Oh, I should probably write this down. Yeah. Soldier Dive, Soldier Dive. Monkey. Diva. Echo. 76. On uh, Lucio. Brig. Berg. Berg. Uh, Berg. All right. Okay, I got it. Ready? Yep. yep. All right, Panda Man, here he is. Ready to crank some nineties. Maybe this isn't the best POV to watch. It's just gonna be <laughs> kind of boring. Oh. Just shooting shields. Give him a second. <laughs> Man's gotta get set up. Uh, okay. Is he gonna build or what? Dang. Okay. Dang. Uh, oh, okay. Huge trick. Oh my Put god. Pyramid. Put a pyramid. Put a pyramid. Okay. Can we watch it from the Ana's POV? That's not Ana. Hang on. All right. That's not Ana. <laughs> That's Mike. That's not Ana. All right. That's head. <laughs> oh, Ana gone. Maybe Bat we gun. can experience more from. The honest POV. Aww, the heels died together. How cute. It's Romeo and Juliet. Same. Love. Pretty sure their honors already committed to a school's esports program. Yeah, Pretty sure they're like already committed. To committed to like, uh, I think they're committed to Stevens College. Yeah, Stevens. yeah, I was gonna say that's not uh, super impressive. Um, 
we watch one of Stephen College's games, Galen. Yeah. And oh at Stephen College's is a, a women's Yo. only school. And they only played girl characters. That's why Stevens College, they me like they messaged me and asked Mr. B if they had any girls playing our esports team. And literally they didn't look at any of my gameplay, they didn't look at my rank, or the roles I played, they just wanted me because I was a girl. And I'm like, um, I'm good. I'll pass. Alright, and with those comms on our ult charge, what is our ult charge? <laughs> Uh, uh, we're gonna have every ult. Yeah, we're we gonna have, have like a lot of ult. Except for primal no. and dupe. Yeah, I don't have. Primal. I'm pretty sure I don't have my ult yet. Rally is at seventy five. Monkey, no. Echo, no. Anna, yes. Diva, I'm gonna say eighty five. And soldier, yes. Those are my guesses. What did we say for monkey? No. Monkey. I you know because I, I I just use primal, like a hard zero or, yeah, or I'm gonna say no, like, got, no, I'm, gonna say like I'm gonna say like fifteen. I was gonna say fifteen. I guess yeah, you did kill some people. Or right, I'm gonna say end. twenty, twenty, twenty. Did Echo use her old? Actually, thing? I'm gonna assume Echo's at like thirty-five because Josh just got like three kills True. after using dupe. Alright. Unless this isn't the fight that Josh used dupe and he used dupe the fight before. I don't think he used dupe. He did. At least I didn't. Did he? So Try not to use the memory of the scrim to do this. We're trying to do this off of what you saw. And what yeah, you I don't do. I don't yeah. remember playing this. <laughs> um. I don't know if I remember seeing dupe. I might just be going off of what I remember. Well, I didn't see dupe in that fight. I could have sworn I heard it. Can I kind of back. Nope. No. <laughs> nope. Too late. Okay, let's let's say he did use dupe. Let's just go with that, because I mean, Josh definitely would have had it by this point. So you're what is it? Um, or what are you guys saying on dupe? Like I have thirty-five written down. Thirty-five. Okay. Does that it sound works. okay for everyone else? Yeah, that's fine. And then we said monkey was like 10, 15, something like that? Monkey's yeah. 20. 20? He was 85. Okay. He was 85. They have visor. We have nano. Brig is like 75. All right. Yeah. Those are final guesses. Locked in? Yes, go for it. All right. We're way off. <laughs> monkey's close. Echo has it. Yeah. And we have none of the other ults we called. How do we not have ults? Uh, we... They have no healing. Like, look at their healer ultra. They, I mean, they just swapped on Mercy. Actually, were they on Mercy earlier? No. 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 Um, Why? I don't know how we're only. I I just don't understand how we don't have some ults. I, because I nothing happened this game. Nothing's really happening. We yeah, get wiped every fight. Yeah. If nothing you were watching happened. how they were playing, they like literally didn't were able to, to get a fight, right? Yeah. You don't build ults if you don't get to take fights. Yeah. Um, their their wrist has even less ult charge than last time. <laughs> Yeah. No. yeah. We got high ground and then instantly <laughs> got demolished. Can we watch this from the Rissus POV? Uh, sure. That's uh, eight, I think. Seven. You want to watch her get bullied in the back line by Owen? <laughs> like, again, they're just totally lost. They don't know what to do. Yeah. They just didn't I now know why they're 52%. Reload! <laughs> I mean, I feel like this guy's legitimately like a pretty good player. Yeah. Anyway, um. Oh no. I mean, they insist on having scrim with us. <laughs> I mean, it it's just they didn't calm. It was, that was their big downfall. I was like the only one that calmed. We were yeah. scrimming at like we're scrimming at three k now. Yeah. Ready. And they're Ready like guys. maybe gold average, Ready. I would assume. Their two that. best players are League okay. and Fortnite players. Alrighty. Um, Reaper, Ryan, Diva, Lucio. McCree, uh, Reaper, McCree, Rush. Reaper. Bap. Ryan. McCree. What else? Uh, Lucio, Diva. 
Is that all of them? Lucio Diva. Yep. All right. We're gonna watch them to Zen. <coughs> um, you guys ready? Yep. All righty. Two, one. Quite the volley. Yeah, this hurts. I mean, we're not here to judge the gameplay, we're here to watch and see what he sees, right? Is anyone else getting massive lag spikes? No. In the shadow okay. of doubt. This is so hard to track. It's so I mean, hard we're literally just sitting like there. It. It's, yeah. It's like, how fast can ult build if you stand still? I mean, that should be really easy, right? They're not even doing anything. I, it, it just feels like nothing's happening. Well, nothing is happening. Yeah. So it, it's hard to judge this. Big play. Don't they do that to like sync their death timers? Yep. Yeah, so they don't stagger. It's pretty pause. And you don't give ult charge to the other people. Embrace tranquility. All right, this is probably gonna be last fight. So take your guesses. We have everything but window. Everything but window. I don't have and shatter. Oh, and it's no five percent on shatter. I think. I do not have a beat. I'm like probably eighty to beat. That's how slow the game's going. No is that window. 80 as in I remember it being around 80? Or is 80 as in like that looks like an 80? <laughs> as in that looks like an 80 because I haven't done anything. I just stood yeah. still. Okay. And sped people around. And we said 100 on everything else besides the, the window, window and the shatter? shatter. Okay. We locked in? Did Yeah. Yeah. I'm good for it. Actually, shatter's going to be a hard 4% for me. <laughs> Low ball. I feel it. I feel it. Dang it, oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty close. Um, so again, yes, this is annoying because nothing's happening. But there are, there will be games where, like, for whatever reason, like someone keeps getting picked or something like that, um, on the enemy team or your team, that like a fight doesn't happen for an extensive period, right? And you need to under not overinflate ults when that's going on, um, because there's like we're getting we're we're getting a better understanding of that now, right? Um, but like early on, we thought we had ults and we actually didn't have anything, right? <laughs> I mean, isn't it better to assume that they have everything to assume they have nothing? Uh, if you're wrong, yes. But if you're, it's still not good to be wrong. Um, so if you assume they have everything and they have nothing, that changes how you play, right? And you'll give them respect and give them time to build alts that they don't have, right? True. So yes, yeah. you can make assumptions, and it's better to be safe than sorry, right? But um, if you if you play too safe, you give them too much room, right? If you play too aggressive, they will eventually have all six ults, and we might only have two left. Yeah, exactly. Right. And then we it, can't it, counter. It's important to be accurate. You don't need to be precise, right? You don't need to get within ten percent, like almost ever, actually. Um, but you need you do need to be like close, right? You can't just like say like, oh, they probably have ults. It's been a long time, right? And then they have eighty, right? Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah. Um. So now we're gonna watch it back a bit. We're back to the beginning. And we're gonna try and coach them. Okay. As a team. We're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> oh no, dude. Mm -hmm. You can't be saying that kind of stuff. I mean, he's not wrong, though. Alright. So, 
we're gonna watch this and then uh, this first fight and you try and give them um advice on what you think they should have done uh better and we'll discuss like um we'll try to get as many opinions on what what, what they should be doing because there's a lot of things they could be doing right because they we do know they don't do much at all right so can if I, we know can i say something now yeah uh they're on bad heroes no genji Arissa, and no lucio Here, heroes or whatever right okay because like i guarantee you if this is an all gm team playing this it doesn't matter what heroes are on right mm -hmm. but how can they play these heroes better well cosmos is feeding reaper i mean he's is he? too far forward i mean what's going to shoot him the diva <laughs> the may who's peeking around the corner in a second yeah but i mean like if he takes damage now it's not the end of the world he just like backs up a step right he can't be shot anymore he gets healed what is the number one issue that they're going to... Uh, okay, let's watch the fight first. What, what, what will be their number one issue that they you They stay can... in that choke. They need to rotate somewhere. Okay. Everyone's grouped up together. The DPS aren't trying to get... Really good. Okay, they're getting a little flank, but everyone yeah, backed get, up. Did you just right-click that shield like eight times? Is that doing something? Their BAP tried to push into dark, which is not a good idea. Should have had a tank there to push in. They're not making decisive initiative. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's number one, right? Is that they didn't commit to anything, right? And the thing is, we do that too. <laughs> the can thing you, is, we're just better than this team, right? Can you go, like, right above them and just look down and play out the fight? Right here? Do you want bubbles yeah. on? Yeah, can you turn on the thing where, like, we can see their icons? Hit N. Uh, Hit N, okay. it's the uh, show spectator view. Spectator overlay. Right, there, yeah, you there you go. Thanks. Like they're walking in left side, then they back out. All right. Now here's a question though: Were we decisive in this fight? More than they were, but not as as much as we needed to be. Yeah, yeah. we were absolutely not decisive at all. Right? We didn't. Because I would have been there. We let you die before we actually made a play. When, when we're running speed and they're running double flex, right? Mm -hmm. You see, like, what I mean? Like, yes, you can criticize this team all you want, but we're equally guilty. We're just better, right? Uh, and that's not, a, that's not a solution against teams that are better than us, right? We have to be better than them at team play and decisive, right? In mm -hmm. order to make up for, like, any, like, skill deficits, right? And there will be teams that will be, be better than us individually, right? But we can still I, beat them. We just have to be, sorry. I do not believe that it was calmed whenever Ian was being, like, pushed on. You know, he didn't say anything. Yeah, but he I mean, just... like, we could have just pushed them quiet. earlier, right? Yeah. Like, like just because you know, it's not really an excuse for everyone else on the team not being prepared to make a play, right? Yeah. Um, and in fact, Ian's positioning in a lot of cases is dictated by where we're making our play, right? Because if, if we're all grouped up here, Ian wants to play here because he wants to push the side when we shove really hard on here, right? But if we're not mm -hmm. doing anything, then Ian's positioning is compromised, right? So again, like it's we're coaching these guys because it's easy to see their mistakes, and we're not thinking too much about like our own stuff because every, every pretty much everything we did worked eventually, right? But again, we do the same stuff against uh, opponents of like similar caliber to us, right? All right, we'll watch the next fight real quick. All right, so how would their team want to path against our team? Um, they don't want to just brawl because they don't have Lucio, and they have a Genji Orisa. So they probably just want to take the angle that's furthest away from us and take more angles just in general. Yeah, for sure. Right, they want to get their... their um... The Arno will most likely be pocketing their Genji, um, and then their Genji Reaper are trying to make plays for high ground control and angles, right? stretch <laughs> um and then the ryan arista more or less should be playing together actually um and just trying to like bait you guys into running at us because they don't control angle they, they want to get to a spot in the map where they can hold a corner and actually apply pressure somehow right so uh, if they if they have control of the point right that's very strong because they just sit here together right i honestly kind of think it might work better against us if they had like their ryan on a reaper pushing the left side closer to us and then like the Orisa on a or the Orisa Bap Genji pushing like the farther angle so that we're kind of like pincered. 
yeah, that's totally okay. Again, there's a bunch of ways to do it, and that's a totally valid approach as well, right? Because we're not really set up to support Ian, right? He's just on his own here, right? So if they were to, like, say, shove this side a little with, like, some effort, and then push everyone else on this side, like, Ian gets stranded again, right? Mm -hmm. Right, again, the big thing is, like, whatever they uh, play they do, right? It just needs to vaguely make sense, and they need to commit to it with, with some element of speed, right? And also, what is this, uh, what is this, what is, uh, what are we doing here? Keeping them from being right side. With the window. True, but are we actually using the window? No, we're not there yet. No, no not really, yeah. I'm sure we're walking into it, though. Yeah. So again, even though this works, this is still us being incredibly decisive, right? Hey, we get big play, we beat them off individual stuff, right? That shatter should not have worked. No, it should not have. I didn't want to say it, but no, it well, should not I, have. I only... I think it only worked because it was, like, element of surprise. Yeah. It was just because... That's the I, only reason it functioned. The like speed was good, right? Like... Yeah, I didn't expect a lot of him to shatter there, like... Because I was around the corner, I was about to shield, and then all of a sudden... I got shattered and I was like, what just happened? Because I thought I was around the corner, but I was still down, so I couldn't even protect the team. And then Bap came in with the lamp, which helped. Yeah, I mean, like, it's fine, but the the greater point I'm trying to make is our first ult was pretty objectively bad, right? Not in terms of placement or whatever, but in terms of timing and everyone actually being there to use it, right? And then we force an individual play, we get a big play, and it works because these guys are worse than us, right? But it's not because we were a better team, you know? Mm. Individually. Yeah. And that this is like symbolic of our, like our last fight. Like, do you do you guys remember how many C nines there were at the start? Like, how many times we like blow the last fight and they just wouldn't touch? <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it was, it was like too three. many, man. That, like on Gibraltar. I was. Three, yeah. I was... It was on here too. Yeah, like yeah. Gibraltar, I was there. I was I was too focused. I didn't realize the timer was there, and I went to touch, and then the game was over. And I was like, "Man, I really screwed that one up." But no one else touched, so it was it was it was not a fun time. Yeah, I mean that was rough for you, Jaden. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> it, it hurt so bad because I had the diva bomb, and I was like, "I'm gonna throw this right up there, and I'm gonna force them off top, and it's gonna be great." And then the timer just went off, and I was like, "Oh, okay. I yeah. guess I just don't get to do anything now." Yeah, like in a couple, in a little bit, right? Um, like, uh, Jane actually gets a pretty good player. Just like his team is dead and they're not here, right? Um, so like, again, like we let a lot of stuff through. We just happen to be better, right? And then later on with the nano blade, we, we talked about it later afterward. After that, yeah, afterward, but there was a lot of like miscommunications, a lot of like indecisiveness. And in the end, they actually got a pretty successful nano blade, right? They just didn't touch, right? Um, and these are mistakes that we just shouldn't be allowing, especially against a team that's this much worse than us, right? They're, mm -hmm. Apparently the comps are terrible, right? They had no, like, planning at all. They literally could not decide on what to do. Uh, yeah, I, and there was just like, all better on an individual level, right? There was, like, one other dude that calmed, but he did it, like, an eighth of the time. Like, an eighth of the amount that I did. Like, I did callouts where everyone was, and then he'd just be like, oh, LOS the windows, and he, like, called out ults, and that's about it. And I was like, man, yeah, this is... It was just a real rough time. I felt real bad for him. Yeah, Tina's but, up there. Yeah. Ign ignore me this fight. <laughs> I was trying something and it didn't work. <laughs> just trying to write it Lucio on us. Yeah. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make though is like, we were really sloppy and like, mm. yes, at a certain point we, we can relax. I guess we we relax and it's like more simple that happened. But like, there's a lot of stuff we could have like been focused on that we just like straight up like allowed to, like. Against a better team, they would have punished us so much harder that we would have like lost, actually like lost a lot more fights, right? Because yeah. this fight is really ugly. <laughs> this should be over, but somehow the Genji didn't touch when he dropped here. I don't know how he didn't. Or oh no, he just come back. He, he, he got off at ninety five. He, he got off and he came back, and then the mace slowed him down enough where he just missed the hitbox yeah but this is a lost fight right against a team of this level we should not be losing anything to be honest right they were like they had no cohesiveness they were like a lot of the players like you could like when you watch some of them play like they had nothing going on right <laughs> arissa was like probably a new player right um and uh 
And like you guys were saying, like, oh, this is painful watching the POV. But we lost to this. We lost fights to this, right? You guys see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We also had a guy that was trying out for the team. Like, they were just seeing, like, if he'd be a good fit for the team. So there's a little bit of uh, disconnect right there. The All right, so they're playing a, a pretty similar comp, right? Gen uh, Widow instead of Genji. How would you recommend they play this comp on this map? Pokey. Pokey. How would you poke? High ground. And All right, so, so why can, why should they go high ground and not the side of the map? Because we're going to be on that side of the map. Well, I guess they can't tell. High ground because you have just a, big, a better vantage point over the portion uh, of the map. Um, so, what would the vantage point, um, sorry, um, what is the normal consideration for most teams going jump pad? Like, what's why the do they do it? Thing? No, what's the number one, um, decision that goes into whether or not you go jump pad versus the other side of the map? Where they're going. Uh, what do you mean? Like, where the enemy team is. Like, yeah, if, the enemy, if you're on Brawl... And you see that the enemy team is going to the jump pad, you're going to want to go to the jump pad with them. Okay. But so, if you're on poke and you see that they're right side and not on the jump pad, then you go to the jump pad. Because that's the furthest place from them. So so why does poke want to play away from the jump pad if the enemy team is... Or, or, sorry, why does, why does poke want to play away from the enemy team and brawl want to play towards the enemy? Because poke has ranged characters and brawl doesn't. Yeah, so does it really matter which side the enemy goes, depending on your comp? No, it just more matters of where the enemy team is going. Wait, so that you can on. play around it. <clears throat> I think I sorry. I think I really messed up what I was trying to say there. <laughs> uh, the point the point I'm trying to make is that if you brawl characters, you you you're allowed to go jump pad whenever you want, right? Mm -hmm. If you're a poke comp, you if they at all have a chance of running brawl characters or just a more brawly version of your comp, you cannot go jump pad, right? Mm -hmm. Because they sense? can go at any time. So uh, I, well, what I'm trying I, to say is, if they happen to go jump pad and your comp is worse at jump pad than them, you lose nine times out of ten. I, I, I believe. Yes. Yeah. The issue. I think that, everyone's uh, saying the same thing. <clears throat> the issue that I'm hearing is when you're running a poke style comp and you run jump pad. If there's a chance that they're going to run brawl by going jump pad as well, they are meeting their win condition better than the, you are meeting yours, right? Because they are now on top of you because you decided to go to the same spot. Is that correct, yeah. Galen? Yeah, exactly. If you're a brawl comp and you go this way, you're making a big brain read. <laughs> you're saying that they're not going to run a brawl comp, and they're also going to go this way, right? And not react to us in time for, in order for us to run onto them, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but that's why the majority of the time, the, str the team with the stronger close range, the, the, the stronger close range will go towards jump pad, right? Because they know they can get away with it. But the team with the, with the weaker close range, right? If you expect to have weak close range, should go not towards jump pad because you don't want to run into a team with strong close range at jump pad, right? So mm -hmm. the, the bigger determinant isn't where the enemy team is going, it's whether or not your team can handle the average team comp on, the, on this part of the map, mm -hmm. right? So can their comp handle the average team comp on this side of the map? No. No. Why not? Say Widow, Ana, Orisa. Orisa's not bad, but they have Widow, Ana. Any other opinions? Ross? Hmm. 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 Can this team that they're running handle, or you're running, I guess, <laughs> handle an, an average team comp on this part of the map? Oh, wait, our, can our team handle playing over there? No, uh, red team. <laughs> uh, so you're I... asking if team two is able to play on jump pad? With the yes. characters they have. Would they, should they expect to be able to play jump pad? Okay. Not especially. I mean, the Widow and Ana could make it work up there. Like, most of our team could make it work up there, except for maybe the Reaper, but uh, we're not a super brawly comp because we don't have a whole lot of super close range damage dealers we're more focused on poke with the reaper and orion 
That's at least my take on it. So we could win a jump pad fight or jump pad fight if they also went jump pad, but we probably could have won if we went the same way as they did and okay. caught them off guard. All right. All right. So you think that we can that your team can win a jump pad fight, right? Because you think that you can fight better than them at close range, right? Probably. Okay. What about you, a lot of pokers. Yeah. All right, what about you, Russ? What did we come to a conclusion of? No, I'm asking Russ, because I've, I've heard pretty much everyone else's opinion at this point. Oh, yeah, I was talking yeah. to Russ. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, could you see the question again? I kind of just uh, blanked out again. I'm yeah. sorry. Can this team, with the, uh, with the red team's heroes, handle an average team comp on ju for a jump pad fight? Let's say blue team was playing Lucio Bap Ryan Zarya, Reaper Cree. Lucio well, it doesn't have to be. Zarya. It doesn't have to be specifically an all-in brawl like that, right? It just like yeah. the average team comp um, can be like, can vary wildly, right? But um, the point is, an average team comp that's not intended to brawl, but maybe has some brawl elements. Like, would it win on this fight versus red team? I, I mean, I think maybe. Like, it depends. I think the Reaper and like like Reapers like a like a definitely like a brawl character. Same thing with like Ryan and maybe Arissa at some point. But I think that they would probably since that they have like a Widowmaker and Bap is kind of brawly, and but I'm not sure about Anna. So I think that probably the brawl would like the like all out brawl comp would probably win. Okay, so versus an average comp, should they take jump pad or not? Uh, an average comp should they take jump pad. Um. They all take jump pad or just the couple? Just, just like the comp. Like with the comp focus, obviously the widow in general is probably not going to go with them to jump pad, right? Initially. But like, you know, you get the idea. I'm not really sure if they would do too much up on there, but probably not, in my opinion. Maybe like the only person who has to get like value out of that is like Arissa. Well, it's not about getting value. Would they win would they win the fight here? If like the initial the fight, fight like both teams meet at jump pad, would yep. they win that fight? Yeah, exactly. Uh, probably yes. Why do you think so? Give me some factors that went into your decision. <laughs> <clears throat> so, if blue team would go in with like a regular like brawl comp, I think that the widow, the widow wouldn't be there. She'd be like near the back, so probably like try to take like pot shots. So she put like a little bit of pressure on, like a like a good amount of like headshot pressure. But if the Ryan on both teams just kept their shields up, I think that'll be like negated. And then, uh, depending on like, like I think the Reaper was definitely like really brawly, so we probably get a lot of value out of that. Um, the Ana, Ana, she she just heals. Um, Bap just heals. The Orissa, I don't think so, because Orissa is kind of like mid range, not really too. I mean, kind of close. Yeah, she's she's actually pretty close range. When I think about it. Um, and the Ryan probably gets some value. So, but the things that the brawl comp on the other team. Like a, a large majority of their characters are brawly, so like people like uh, Widow, like who isn't really much of a brawly character, probably wouldn't be able to get much value out of that fight. So I think it'd probably just be uh, Team One would probably destroy Team Two. Okay, so yeah. you think that that red team would lose the jump pad fight? Yeah. Okay, but can remember I that this is, a, this is a... go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, can I insert my thoughts on this? Go ahead. I think it's a 50-50 as to whether or not they win it, but I think Red should be trying to take the jump pad, frankly. Okay. Because I'm, I'm looking at things like, you got yeah, Immor, you got Ana heals, like the, their output for healing is going to far better sustain ours in a long-term fight, I think. Um, given the nature of like, you know, Monkey's gonna get blasted out by Reaper, Diva only has so much D-Matrix, right? We're able to heal through. But I, I think the 50-50 comes down to like, Blue can really easily set up the concave of angles between Echo taking the high ground um, without having to use jump pad per se, and Soldier being able to get on a flank. So, so Blue definitely has the speed to get there first. But I think if the Widow is able to get a pick from not in that core fight at Mega, um, that concave falls apart, right? And, and between Immortality Field, uh, Bap healing, Ana healing, uh reaper ryan i think i think if you are able to push hard on one facet of the of that um 
arc that blue is going to try to make to close in on red um if you're able to push onto one of those fast enough even though you don't have lucio like you you can definitely tear apart the the team right because like blue can take high ground but i don't think they can hold high ground um right like I think I think red has to play closer together, and they will be able to protect themselves better from from what blue is able to do. So, I does that make sense? I I think uh, I messed up my language here. Uh, so I wanted to point to say, out we have five minutes left. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. Um, but when I said like an average comp, I'm talking like if you draw a triangle between like um like a brawl comp, a poke comp, and like a dive comp, like just square in the middle of that triangle, right? Like something that isn't particularly excellent at anything, right? But is like does kind of a little bit of everything, right? You know what I'm talking about? Just like a super average comp, right? Would this yeah. would this be more brawly than that comp, basically? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And uh, Ross, back to your question, back to you then, because like you were talking about it as if it was a brawl comp. So I think that maybe like if they're so if they if if red team like stayed there on the low ground and didn't go for the jump pad, I think that they would probably die. But if they did go for like the jump pad and they kept like rotating like onto the high ground, they'd probably they might have a chance like at like actually getting the fight. But if they just kept like rotating and like just like kind of like kiting them, then I think that that might work. But then the brawl team would probably catch on and would just probably just like like try to take point because like they have to go to point at some point, you know? So, okay, it's not a brawl team they're against. It's. Oh. A var it's just an average run of the mill team that has no special qualities in brawl, poke, or yeah, any of that. We're stuff. a theoretical team that is a, a completely average in every single meaningful way. <laughs> they cover a little bit of each base, like, like Ryan Nothing. Diva, Genji, Ash, like or something weird, right? Yeah, I'm not trying to like I'm not trying to pull up a specific comp. I'm just saying like, are the qualities of this more brawly than poke or something like that? Uh, the point is, okay, we're running out of time, so I'm just gonna move like, on. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, um, I'm not gonna but, try to explain it. I'm yeah. just. I'm, yeah. I'm so tired so, today. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, no worries, I, no worries, I just no keep spacing yeah. out. It's fine. Um, so what, I, what I'm trying to say, though, is like Brian Arisa is something we've talked about before, right? Mm -hmm. pretty, pretty extensively uncaught, right? And we run it in situations where it's very close quarters, right? Very contained maps with one directional fighting, right? Ryan mm -hmm. Arisa, this seems, this seems to fit the bill, right, for a Ryan Arisa, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they also have a Reaper. So they actually have very strong brawl, right? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter what the rest of the heroes are. If they're not against another pure brawl comp, this team wins the, this fight the majority of the time, right? Yeah. So that's they, all we really. Need, that's all we really need to like look at, really. <laughs> they're kind of playing King's Row comp on this map. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like a sure. Legion control center. This is kind of a control center comp with a random widow, right? Um. So I I forgot where I was going with this actually. <laughs> um, You're talking but, about um, like should they take the the push oh, yeah, or not yeah, to yeah. the right side? Yeah. Like is so, that a smart move for them to make? Yeah, exactly. So, all, so there's some there's some element of anticipation what the enemy team's going to run on this map, but there's a lot of things that can be run. So it's kind of hard to judge. So you just kind of have to judge whether or not you're you're more brawly than the average comp when you're making a decision, right? So we can run like six random heroes and then make a decision whether or not we should go this way, right? Because you can do this with, with six heroes. Any random six heroes be like, can we go this way? And the answer is either yes or no, right? Um, and you can be wrong, right? Or you can be right. Um, but like you just got to make a quick decision, right? Um, so in most cases, the most comps we decide to run on this map do not go this way, right? But there are certain times we will run a dive and we will actually want to fight here because we're running like Sombra Tracer or something, right? I don't think we're going to run that anytime soon. But if we were to run some very aggressive dive with like Moria Lucio Sombra uh, Tracer, right? We would want we would want to fight here, right? We just historically never do that because we're always playing comps that are like slower, right? But we need to understand the difference and when to go where, right? Mm -hmm. um, anyways. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, Is it even worth for, for you guys to like review after? Uh, there's some specific things I want to talk about. Um, okay. But yeah, it will, probably won't be very long. It'll be like half an hour. Gee. Um, but yeah, I just like I, the goal with these like sessions, um, the non vod review section, I guess. Um, is to like make us like think more critically, right? So we can anal analyze these situations like on our own, right? You know, mm -hmm. so we can look at this and be like, should they have gone jump bad? Like the answer for most of us was like apparently we didn't know because like we were like I spent a long time thinking about this right, uh, and we came up with some different answers right, and yeah we can get there right but it's important that we can just look at their comp and be like hey they're pretty brawl right <laughs> right, um, and you can break down a lot of maps into this into 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 situations like this right so like if you're playing a short range comp in King's Row you can fight in the in the um kind of wherever you want really uh, on the second and the second point right but if you're not a comp that is like more brawly than them, right? Or more brawly than average, 
that you need to take dumb angles and take uh, flanks and high ground and stuff like that. Uh, and it's mandatory, right? There's not really a, a, a um, negotiating that. Like you have to, or else they will run you over, right? Um, and this informs all decision making. Like, do we have more range than them, right? So does this team have more range than the average comp? No, but this is a very close range fight. So this is great for them. This kind of fight, maybe not so great, right? Once they get to high ground, right? High ground kind of sucks for them because as we, we discussed, this is overall a very short range comp, right? So once they get the high ground, because we're not going to fight it, what should they do next? Well, if they're going to just take high ground, then we can just cap on back a point. Yeah, but what are they supposed to do once they get the high ground and they're still running these short range characters? Because we're not fighting them for it. Then we would like push into them. Exactly, right? You don't roll. stop. Yeah, you don't stop. As soon as you get this high ground and you know they're not here, if you're a short range comp, you keep going. You don't stop, right? Wherever you go, like maybe you see the soldier over here and you just like turn and start going this way, right? You pivot. But like the point is, like you've got to understand your comp and understand what it means to take a certain part of the map, right? I, I can't count to you the number of times we have a comp like this, right? We get to this point, we're like, oh, we fought them and they weren't here, right? This happens on like Control Center all the time because we take White Room, they're like, oh, they're not here, right? <laughs> That's happened a couple of times, right? And then we get here and then we stop, right? This is a, this is a problem our team is also very guilty of, right? Mm -hmm. And we're like, we're here. What do we do now, right? And there needs to be like some like moment, like inertia, I guess, where our team like gets to here and just keeps going, right? We know that we can't stop, so we just keep going, right? Because we need to understand the overall strengths and weaknesses of our comp, right? Yeah. Time check six oh one. Yeah. Uh so we're probably gonna close here. Um did that feel okay? Like helpful? I know this like scrim is kind of a wash, but it's pretty helpful. Yeah, it was pretty helpful. Okay. Awesome. Uh yeah. Aiden and I will continue some like actual VOD review, VOD review. <laughs> in a yeah, bit. we'll do that. Oh. Uh, and uh it shouldn't be too long. Um probably just like half an hour, but just some quick things to go over because most of the scrims was kind of a wash. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure we have game, or I know we have a game on Tuesday. Mm, pretty sure we have a game on Thursday. Just keep an eye out in the Comp Overwatch channel. Alright. Oh, yeah. Confirmation stuff will be sent later on. Alright. Uh, Galen, All right. I'll call you. Yep. Alright. All right. See, All right. See you guys. See you guys. Bye. See you. Did you like the gif I sent you? Yeah. <laughs> of the spinning monkey. You're like, yeah, you're like, stop jumping to get angles. Just spin on point. And this is the first thing that popped into my head was, and I'll, I'll, I'll put it That's on. It's pretty good. I'll put it on stream just so people can see it. The, it's this video of a monkey spinning around. We're talking about Winston aim on Gibraltar point. Anyways. Um, right. Which games are we looking at? Cause uh, I've got uh, it open on my end now. Yeah. I have. Uh, I don't think we need to go over City Center because uh, we kind of saw it already. And then also, um, it was like a really minor thing, I think. Yeah. Briefly at our at a Gibraltar attack and also our Blizzard World first point defense. Um, and just touch on some like quick things. Uh, it, it should not take very long. Like, Wait, which, just... Sorry, which ones are we looking at? Gibraltar and... Uh, Gibraltar and Blizzard World. Okay. Let's start with um, Gibraltar. Yeah, it should be pretty quick. Like, I'm just, I just want to talk about some like pretty specific stuff. So. Yep. And then we just move on. We're gonna send them this Alrighty, replay. It's gonna be like, what? Which mod review is your favorite, guys? And they're gonna be like, I like the one where we talked about jump pad for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually like. We were talking about that for so long. I actually lost like my entire original point. I was, I was so confused where you were going with. It. I'm like, like brawl can win that, right? And I was trying to think, like, are they running brawl? Like, I, I, was, I was like, is this a typo trick question? Like. Then we all just got confused about like what an average comp looked like. Yeah, that's why, I, that, that's why that was I said, my bet. I should have defined that better. No, that's why um, I said that's why I said like Ryan Diva Ash Genji. Like what the what the hell is that? Like it's a mess. Um okay. We are you can see this, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um let me make sure my recording's still going. It is? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, can we skip to our attack? Uh yeah. The defense was kind of a watch. We didn't do really do anything decisively like we talked about in the VOD review. We just kinda of let them make mistakes. Ready um for so other than, like, not a whole lot of stuff specifically to point out, so. Three, ready for battle. Two, one, attackers in payload, ready to roll. All right. Scott, the payload. Josh holds the payload. Give the monkey up top. Junkrat spam. OK. 
Okay. Monkey drops. Do the dog fight. Good angle, I suppose. Yeah. But like, just in general, like, do you see how little like actual die pressure we've like yeah, done? Yeah. There's there's nothing going on. I'm actually gonna go back to this, right? Yeah. I wanna I wanna watch from one perspective. Like, okay. So you lose half your health on the entry. You haven't even jumped, right? Junkrat just dies because Ian's better, right? And then you leave. Yeah. Like nothing, nothing has happened. The, the, the critical mistake there, like, I mean, this is just one mistake because, like, I don't think Josh was set up to, to dive pressure top either. Um, no, because he's pushing the pillow thing, the entire time. Yeah, yeah, but, like, uh, you, you can swap with your D.Va briefly or something there. D.Va can push from underneath and then fly up to boost and help, right? But the big thing is you can't walk up the staircase on the right and expect to actually dive from there. Um, this is a very common trap for monkeys is they go high ground expecting to dive from there. But if that high ground's on, like, level terrain with the enemy team, it doesn't, it just gets you poked on your way in. So instead of just like walking out main and jumping and then bubbling and then dropping, right? You try to like, first of all, you peek repeatedly here so you give them warning that you're here. Uh, and then second, like you walk out um, and then like just eat a million damage because you can't jump from there. It's impossible if they're, if they're already looking at you, right? So either you, you need to do it really fast um, or just like go main and just jump from there and then drop down, right? It's okay to pressure jump, um, I mean, this, but it, this might sound kind of three head. I don't understand why we don't just send both dive tanks through here, push the diva out and then jump on the map. Right, like, uh, so you can the problem with going high ground, that. yeah. The problem with going high ground is unless you have a support already on the bridge, the back bridge for us, um, it's impossible to support tanks up there. So, uh, eventually, like, the devil just wear us down. Um, if on like, a if if place here and, and, and the tanks play on this ledge right here and just zap well, on no. them, because at least so you're drawing the, fire away from the rat, right? Yeah, so the big thing is this team obviously is very good, but the majority of teams will stack the blue box, right? Um, right here. They'll, they'll stack here, right. And then if you try to push them out, right, from the hallway, you just end up feeding all the time, right? Because okay. the, the, whole, the whole team will be up there. Um, so, like, yes, in theory, this is possible. But we uh, this actually came up in, like, almost the first time we ran. I think the very first time we played Gibraltar, well, that I was here, is that we pushed tanks through there. And it was like, it worked because the team was bad. But, like, most teams won't won't allow you to do that for free um, and make mm -hmm. it very expensive. So The only so... time you can do that is if, like, you play, like, a sim, um, you sim TP out of spawn onto the high ground and, and you play Sigma BAP. Um, if you play Sigma BAP, then you should walk your team across the bridge and then through through the hallway, right? right. Um, but Strength. in most cases, winning this is, is impossible, right? Because so, you see how this Diva is getting support, right? And our yeah. Diva is not. Uh, yeah, because because we got Diva dogfight and the BAP's helping that Diva cheat, right? Like by by healing yeah. her up. We don't have any heals yeah. on her because we're pocketing an Ash there, and Ana is way back here, right? So it's a very yeah. split situation. So what so what do the tanks do besides fall back here? Uh, yeah, so instead of just like walking through the top, right, you just like you clear the top, make sure there's no one going to drop down your supports, right? Um, like immediately. And then once you drop, right, then you walk around the corner and then ju just jump straight at the Zarissa, basically. Um, you just need to like apply pressure, right? You don't need to have to do anything crazy. Um, but like here, we're just eating pressure instead. Um, and like it works because they, they, they walk into our ash, but that's not something we can expect. It's right here. Can we be jumping the Zarissa? Uh, yeah, that's what we do, right? But, like, the point is, like, this takes a long time to get to, to like, make work, yep. right? I mean, but what, what do you do while the rat's on top of the Orisa, right? When they're playing the same, like, pixels, pretty much, on the high ground? I mean, you, like, you don't you even jump need that? to land there. You don't even need to land there. You can just jump straight up, basically, at them, and then just, like, drop down without even like, touching the ground. Just soft dive it. Yeah, you, you just need to uh, pull attention long enough for your Tracer to, to walk cart, right? And if your Tracer starts getting, getting contested, you're already underneath the enemy team, so you just walk over to the cart and, and fight the guy that your Tracer is fighting, right? Mm -hmm. But the problem is, like, if you burn all your resources for um, not a lot of gain on your jump, that's when you get screwed. Oh, also, I think that I remember what uh, the big thing I want to talk about is, like, um, we talked to uh, Kipaz. Yep. We've, we've talked a lot about getting our supports into server, right? But what does that like actually mean, right? So normally the enemy team is running dive, right? Um, and um, they're normally also going to like try to kill us if we cross the server, right? But in this case, they're not controlling server. So normally when you play Aristocomps, you just sit in server. So rotating supports into server is not really the best play because we're just sitting in server. Yeah, uh, in which case, yeah, in which case you just take tarp and you throw nades in from above. It's super simple. Um, or they play like catwalk slash like that that side of the map, and so then you rotate supports into server anyway, right? But if the enemy team is just sitting in main, um. Going to server doesn't really gain, give you a lot, um, and also um, is comparatively unsafe if your team isn't set up to actually play it, right? So if we look, our team isn't set up to play server at all, we just have a random on in here, and now she's getting pressured by a D.Va, right? So yeah, we got into our on to server, but this did not make our on safe, right? And now we end up diving a D.Va in server and spending resources. This is our jump, our bubble, right, and our nade on a D.Va that was didn't even really want to stay here, right? So on should be like here-ish slash here-ish. Yeah, just go top, even. right? Just go top and then just dive, 
right, normally, because there's no reason to play server. They're not threatening her on in any meaningful way, right? Ana can't support this either. Yeah. Even from server, just because of where they are. Right? What, and like, if what, we're going to take server, right, fight. we need to commit to taking server, right? So that means like jumping outside server, right, and like harassing people while our honor rotates, right? Because we talked before also that we, when we jump, when we rotate, we want to pair with the jump, not a monkey bubble, right? The the jump and monkey bubble need to be on the enemy team to cover rotates, right? I'm just gonna go back and watch the own perspective. I mean, this team like just didn't have any map control at all, right? So as long as our timing was like even moderately okay. Like we were probably gonna win this fight. Um, God, look at his HP, dude. Like, yeah. Like, I wanna, I wanna just, I wanna go back to that. Cause I, that's what I was observing. As soon as I saw that Diana didn't have LOS on him, like, this is his HP just tanks. Yeah. This is like not by any means a well-executed dive from us. Basically. Um, like, starting from the map control phase uh, and then ending with like the actual like execution. Um, so this is just why I wanna emphasize, like, yeah, again, like, yeah, he gets doing three things. HP. And again, this is why we want to think about our composition relative to the enemy composition, right? Like, what does our composition composition have? And the answer is no dive. Uh, <laughs> and what are they? Where are they standing? Right? They're standing not anywhere important. So we just take the relevant map control that lets us see the fight, right? And then we take it, right? It doesn't always have to be server every time. Server's a good default, but there has to be a purpose behind it. Yeah, server's a default against standard play. What they're doing is not at all standard play, right? And if we lose to this. Um, oh, sorry, if, if they play standard play and we try to do, if, we, if they do non-standard play and we try to run standard play into that, if the enemy team is good, they'll run us over because we're just trying to do things that are supposed to work but don't actually work, right? Why, why, actually do you think, a lot. why do you think Chengdu Hunters gets wins? Yeah, like, there's there's a lot of, like, uh, part of being a, a complete team is being able to handle, like, weird things, right? Which is why, like, when they run, like, a, a comp that doesn't make any sense, like, we need to know, like, what that comp still does, right? What are the strengths and weaknesses? We need to be able to identify that and play around it. They don't want to just jump in the trees. Uh, might have already, it might not have been out yet. I'm not sure. Maybe yeah, we're already in trouble with this group. Oh. No, he jumps right into it. Yeah, he saw the mercy, saw the, saw red. Again, like, this isn't like a, a super well executed dive. Or like hold, I guess. No, it's it takes, control. it takes them both to different things right now. It's okay for tanks to do different things, but like yeah. it's it's important that like uh, the setup before the fight was good, and then that what they're accomplishing what they're supposed to be doing. Like they're they're fulfilling the responsibility, I guess. I totally thought he was gonna bomb that. Um, this is also so, uh, uh, sorry. This is like not something I guess for team about you, but this is something you do a lot of Ross. It's just like be careful like canceling your boosters early when you don't have to, right? Like, try to get all the mileage out of your boosts as you can, unless you specifically need to get them back as soon as possible, right? So here, you like, you start a boost at the Mercy, she dies, and you just stop, right? All right, you actually stop before you even got to it, right? So, like, you could fly into her and then fly back and conserve your positioning that way, and that way you'll be okay. But being somewhere without boosters is very risky, and you do this a lot sometimes where you just kind of, like, boost in vaguely, and then you won't use the rest of your boosters to boost out as soon as you realize it's not, like, Yeah, you just, you, there it is again, right? Like... I mean, there's fine because he's just cleaning up kills, right? But though, there will definitely be times we, uh, we can see where you just boost him without a backup plan, essentially. But this is fine because we're just chasing kills and there's only two people here. And you stay in for maximum damage, so that's fine. Um, but there's definitely times when, like, you, like, 100% should just turn around with the rest of your boosters and you don't. Um, so I think that was all the major points I had for this map, actually. Yeah. It's kind of a roll from here on, to be honest. <laughs> um, I mean, like this is the most I've seen Josh there. on the payload, like, ever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's there's definitely mistakes here and there, but, like, um, not, like, a lot of it's just kind of nitpicky. Yeah. Anything mechanical like, that we want to look at from these guys? Um, Hello. not really sure. Um. The rest of this map is like basically a hard rule, like actually straight up a hard rule. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm ready to go to Blizzard World if you are. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, right. Let me get the code. Blizzard World. One J N nine six X. Let's see it. 
Welcome to Blizzard World. Defend. All right. So can we see our defense? We're in defense already. Okay. So I know I talked about this after the map as well, but like we have to be more decisive with the way we use our Ryan. Uh, sorry, our Ryan Lucio and engage. Right. So right now we see a massive split, and we're trying to mirror the movement instead of just like dropping down and go killing the people who are split. Right. And this gives the widow tons of space, because like the widow is playing a random off angle, um, and she eventually kills someone. I think. Where is the widow? She's like oh down God. here. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't we should literally why... pick our Ryan Lucio and run at her, right? Or at least our Lucio sick, right? Yeah. Because well, like, and that that's what I was gonna say, right? Is I, as soon as I saw this, right? As soon as that win sniper, that man. widow starts shooting, I think I think Sig should be the one to handle that, right? Like Sig should not be the one frontlining. In my opinion, because we have Ryan to to do literally that, right? I mean, yes. Uh, I think the big thing is like this literally doesn't matter. What matters is like pushing the off angle. So we it doesn't matter who does it, or like how many people do. It. We can literally take the whole team to do that, and I'd be okay with it. No, but uh, but, but like, that's what I'm saying, right? Is 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 Sigma's yeah. gonna be the one who's more effective at pushing the off angle instead of Ryan? And so we're like double stacking shields here, so the widow's just shooting in this for free, like. Like Sigma should be trying to help the team and push this off angle, in my in my opinion. But instead, yeah, we're I mean, like double stacking our tanks. Yeah, Lucio can do it. Lucio and plus one can do it. Sigma plus one can do it. Like it doesn't matter. But like the point is, people need to do it. It doesn't matter who. It doesn't even matter how many really. Um, but like that that widow down there is free with the Lucio, right? Um, we just need to kill her. Gets uh Owen. Yeah. Or not Owen. Uh, gets Josh. Oh yeah, the, the Reaper just like TP'd in or something. Yeah, I was gonna say, was he trying to TP? I, I think so. I, I don't remember, but yeah. And again, like we can, we can pretty easily be pushing in right now. Right, like again, rotation. Widow's on the right. We're chasing the rotation instead of chasing the Widow. See this again? The exact same thing. Uh, Ian tried, and he didn't get help, right? This is what I mean, like... We need to have tanks doing this, because um... It doesn't really matter which one again, but one of them needs to be doing it. It can't be Ian hunting the Widow, because like that's not actually like, I mean, it's kind of a favorable matchup, but if the, the, the Widow gets the first shot, he loses that uh, the majority of the time. Right, this needs to be like, especially since we see this happen right in front of us, how did we forget, you know? Like, we're still chasing them, and like, this doesn't, just doesn't make any sense. Like, go kill the people who are killed, not, not the tanks. The tanks suck. Like, we kill the tank eventually, but like, Again, like, it's, this is not, like, the, efficient, the most efficient way to do things. And then Josh gets left behind. Wait, actually, I, th I think they did exactly what you're suggesting, too. Like, these guys, this uncoordinated team, like, did exactly what you suggested, too. Yeah, kill Squishies, not tanks. Yeah, look. Look, at least Ryan. Yeah, just chase him around until he dies. He's super split. He's scared. Yeah. What's he gonna do about it? They did exactly that. And we didn't. Yeah, we still got an Arisa kill out of it, which isn't terrible. But, like, again, we'd much rather kill the Squishies, like the Widow, on cooldown, essentially. And go spawn camper than, like... Deal with like Ryan and Arisa all the time, especially Arisa. This is a giant, is a giant pain. Like, see again, we're mirroring their movement to going to point instead of just like, cutting off the back line. Who hasn't rotated yet and killing them, right? So I know we talked about this, but this is just like to show you what it looks like, right? It's like all these people on the back line that we're just leaving there, right? It's, like, not a problem. I mean, we're still taking, like, we're still taking relatively favorable fights because, like, again, this team like was not very good and the rotations were so bad that like. Even though we didn't punish the rotation, they never got in time, there in time for the fight. Um, but yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk, talk about for this map as well. If you have anything we'll else to go over, like, yeah. I, I didn't see the scrim, so I, I, I wasn't sure if we want to watch more of it. Yeah, we can. Uh, I just covered everything I specifically wanted to talk about already, so. Okay, yeah. We can look at the rest of this one, though, just for to like 6.30 or so. Yeah. Um, what is the What do we do here? Just reset or I mean just walk into them, why not, right? Yeah, I mean, like it's... Out, but, like, but we sat there for a while as well. I was gonna say like Yeah. There goes Flux, there's high noon. Jane gets yeah. good. Right? Yeah, once we survive, right? We're good, right? Or I guess they beat. They, but they beat, beat but they're, they're not they're yeah. not winning this. We fight. can start walking them now, the beat's already running out. Yeah. Then we get slow. Yeah. We're we're just putzing about. At the statue. Yeah, and then they get, they get another exit kill. Now it gets really ugly. Also, Ross, if you're going to rock there, 
first of all, you probably shouldn't rock that. And second, if you are gonna rock that, you should shield first. Before yeah, you like, rock. like they're actually more decisive than we are, cause, cause Jin's is running on us right now, right? Yeah. Like, I'm sure he's just saying, "Hey, Lucio, speed me in," and that's all they need. They're still being decisive with him. Oh my god! Yeah. Wait. Oh, and you just got MTD'd by Jaden. Don't worry. Someone said that, and then he uh, he got he got all serious for the rest of the map. <laughs> Did he really? Someone said uh, that he got yeah. MTD'd. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I wanna, I wanna watch, I wanna watch, I wanna watch him really run up. But again, he's we don't like fighting their tanks actually, right? We like fighting yeah. their backline. He's running straight at our backline. I, th I think he's trying to kill Tina. <laughs> yeah. I actually think Jane's is trying to kill Tina because she's the closest squishy. Yeah, and that's the best. That's what you want to do in run. You don't want to, you don't want to hit tanks. You want to hit squishies. Squishies oh get hit, who get by hammer are literally down half their health already. That's huge. I'm getting the, I'm getting the thumbnail. That's a good thumbnail. I see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. I'm just getting Fortnite God Panda Man on the high ground. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Alright, we back up to take high ground. That's good. Oh, Jaden dies here. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay, well, we, we ran onto him. Yep. That looks pretty decisive to me. Do we just hold them here, or what happens? Yeah, I don't think they get any further than this, really. Alright. Yeah, so here, our play makes more sense, because there's no more rotating to be done, right? That means teams like rotation, like, literally walk, just walk up to us, right? Um, so as a result, like, the game plan simplifies, we don't make any more of these mistakes. But again, Ooh. um, yeah. Um, it's really important that we don't make those mistakes in the first place. Right? Yeah, well, there's there's not as much space for them to be like taking those backline angles, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's not much room for them to like. Yeah. It's like, what do you what do you do? You go here. This angle sucks, right? You go here. This angle gets you killed, and there's no real escape besides running through this, right? Like, yeah. Where are you gonna go? What is? Bro, are you serious? Yeah, no, this team wasn't very don't good. Don't set up the so. turret. What is that melody? Good. I'm glad <laughs> you got punished for that. I'm I'm gonna say it. <laughs> what were you doing back there? Nice. I feel like I'm watching Jaden and Owen battle it out for a starting position. <laughs> and uh, was there anything to watch on Temple Anubis, or is that just a complete stomp? I didn't see it, but they said they got full held, or they full held, so is, I'm assuming it was not much. Is it worth looking at? Or I have no idea. I didn't see it. So. You know what? 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 Let's let's just give it a sniff. Let's just give it a sec, because right. that, that's just going to be a hold. Um, 9YK, 0J2. All right, let's see it. Now entering the Temple of Anubis. Are we attacking the fence? They really like this Orisa Ryan Brawl. I think uh, they couldn't play anything else. Yeah, so that's going too early, Owen. Again, your team can't fight there, so there's no point. Right, like, in what world is a realistic follow-up to your team here, right? If you if you want to do this slam, your whole team needs to be set up at the next door already, waiting for this play, and runs around the corner as you do this, right? Yeah. Your whole team needs to be in this room already, basically. 
um, just waiting for this as an ambush. And like you make it work off the back the, the fact they're not expecting it, plus the value of the six man slam, right? Um, but if you're gonna make, uh, but again, if you're gonna make this play, your whole team needs to be here. Otherwise, can, like not work. We can like stack this quarter until you call that your drop and then just peekaboo. Yeah, we could do something dumb here if we really wanted to, right? But we need to be all all on the same page, and then like have six people doing something dumb, right? Not one. Something something feed as a team. Yeah. But all it does is require you to get healing. You're not, now you're like way, way out of the fight. You're probably gonna go grab the top mega as well now. Yeah, you grab the top mega as well, and like literally, you've been out of the fight for like the last like 15 seconds. And they've made they've made all the way they made, they made all the way out before you get to do something, right? I wanna I wanna watch Ross's shield management because we, we we talk about it on Anubis like every single time. Yeah, for what it's worth, I, we keep talking about Ross, but I think it would be a lot better if you just like watch some like top tier Sigmas like play for a bit. Um, like I, I imagine it would be too hard to find like some vods of like some pros, um, or like uh, on YouTube or just to like watch some Twitch streamers and like maybe see if an off tank is playing the Sig that day or something. But like. It's, I think it's a bit easier to visualize what good sick play looks like um, than it is to like just like try to understand what we're saying, to be honest. Um, because like, uh, yeah, I think it would, it would benefit you a lot just like watch, just get some like maybe an hour of like watching of like high level play, like what it looks like, just so you understand like how long you should be leaving a shield up, right? Because like that shield didn't need to stay up at all. <laughs> Um, so I, 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 want, I want you taking damage before that shield goes out, right? Just just so your team can like support you because your team's not going to be able to heal you up when they close that gap, right? Like if you didn't back when you did and these two just closed in on you, like your, your healer's not going to be able to save you from that. And for what it's worth, you left it up in the choke where like everyone on the enemy team can shoot it and no one on your team can use it. So it, it kind of didn't like, even if you, like, I don't even think you take damage if you drop that shield earlier. Yeah, like, um, like, like, God, imagine if you had a shield right now, right? Yeah. And you could just, yeah. you just shut off Mr. Fortnite here, right? Like, yeah. Like Newtons and 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 right now, like, we we're, we're trying to keep you up. Oh, dude. Oh, it doesn't matter. We got the shield. and the res. What am I watching? Yeah, I, I I strongly encourage you to to find some like, um, either like top level ranked or like pro former pro, uh, or like streaming or just like if you can like find what? like low level gameplay as well. Like that's fine as well. Watch Void, watch Krong, watch Choi Hyobin, like, like all three. Watch some space, honestly. Like space is probably yeah. a, a really good one. Yeah. There's there's an incredible amount of top tier owl main tanks or sorry off tanks. That off place tanks. There's so many good um, off tanks. Yeah. Just find an example, just, and just like watch what they do for a bit. Not for too long, just like see what they do, what the timings for stuff, how long they leave shield up, that's a really big one for us, at least. Um, and like when they choose to like play where, right? That stuff all really matters. <laughs> I just like, I just like watching this... Poke. Poke. And then, and then Owen's like, oh this is free, and like totally disrespects a 1v1. <laughs> just rolls up. Like, hey, how you doing? Terrible. Only take 2v1s. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting little hamster rolls up and ruins your 1v1. Alright. Like, yeah, you can take damage there. You got healed up. Try to pull out your shield. Right? Like, because now you're just giving that, you're giving this rat value by getting him something to shoot at. Yeah, like, I, like, like, notice when you drop your shield, you actually just took no damage, right? For a solid chunk of time, right? Until you get shot from the side. But, like, um,. That means that you could have dropped your shield the entire time and had full health. Right? Oh, it's gonna hurt. Be careful walking in like this, committing. Right. First of all, like you're stuck. Once you your flux ends, you gain, you lose your like your mobility. Uh, and then second, if you walk straight at them, you're much more likely to get CC'd. Right. So in this case, they didn't have any, but you do this pretty much all the time with flux. Uh, instead of ducking behind a corner as soon as you hit them with the flux, and like you just gotta remember that if they have CC, they will use it on you, and like you don't right, have a, at that point you don't really have a right to be upset if you get CC. Right. Um, if you just like fly at them. Oh, I see it. Right. He just like, does he just fly through the doorway? Right? Or... Yeah, he just flies in. <laughs> like, you, you don't need to like do anything crazy. You can just like flex the doorway, right, from the doorway, and then fly above the doorway if you really want to. Um. Yeah. yeah you, like, yeah, you what? Get this flex. Just chill here. Just chill here. Yeah. Or, like, or just here, fly you know? up. You can stand on the the little semicircular. Like, you can stand on these. So like, is he, just fly is he up. too big for these? Huh? No, you can't. need to pick through these, really. No, I mean, Ball can fit through these, though. So. Ball can only fit oh. through them in a uh, crab form. For whatever reason. I mean, 
No, crab form is bigger than ball form. Uh, I'm gonna have to go lap that one out. I'm pretty sure he can only do in one of two forms or one of the two. I forms. I have done it as both, so I know. Have you done as both? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to relap that one out. Maybe I'm just bad. Um, but uh, yeah. So like again, like use cover when you're using your flux. Don't get CC'd. If you get honest left again, that's not on the on. That's not you being unlucky. That's you, you not being prepared to get CC'd, right? Um, and then like use the vertical like aspect of Dead Iron afterwards because it's free, right? Like instead of using your shield here, right? Just don't take the shots, um, or if he does surrender to shoot you, just stand behind cover, right? Um, you don't have to get this damage here. In fact, you get very little damage anyways, even with shield and HP spent. So, like, you don't even need to, right? Like, again, like, do you, you see how little sh damage you took? Like, you don't even need to put the shield up, because the whole time you weren't taking damage, right? Like... Yeah, the... Yeah. I, I wanna watch here, too, right? Like, look at, look at this angle. You're hard to hit, right? You're hard to hit there. That shield is way easier to hit, <laughs> right? Like they yeah. can just break that right now if they want. Which, that, does does Rat like just take pot shots at it? Yeah, he just shoots it for the sake yeah. of shooting it. Like he's getting value out of that. It's not a full hold if they get it. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it was kind of a full hold. I mean, it was a basic, basically a full hold. Yeah. Oh, we, we talked about the, the, the Reaper once they engage, too. I want to see my main issue with this. Did I already talk about like my main issue with the Reaper monkey comp? Uh, we we like, talked about we, yeah, we had an argument about it last time because I was like I don't mind that they're going in at the same time because it, it 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 was better than the time before. But then I think they were going to the same spot instead of like oh yeah, yeah. making pressure yeah, I, and that's what I, think I we didn't had this like. conversation. Yeah. yeah, we had this conversation literally in the last mod review. I want to see if they. Like, I just don't like the splitting. concept of it because it skips steps. It, is, it doesn't teach them like the difficult part of like getting in on this map with like Genji or Tracer or something. Or even Echo. I mean, that looked pretty well executed. Like, yeah, yeah, it skips steps, I suppose, but like, yeah, I think it did a fine job, right? Yeah, I mean, the execution was fine. Yeah. I never yeah. had, a, I never really had a massive problem with the execution. Uh, once we started, like, once you fix it for the most part, it just like, it's a very like, all-in approach that relies on, like, again, on like just skipping steps. Because yeah, you, you can only hard dive with this, pretty much, right? Yeah. Or especially when you do it like that. Fight. Yeah, he's in, monkey's in. All in there alone. Like right right there they did in there alone. I think it's Zarya saw him for like Yeah, and we went too early. Yeah, our team's not set up yet. We just got here and our we're both our uh both the divers are dead. Go! I keep you here. Yeah, the, the the drop kind of kills it, or or when when they drop, they're as good as dead. Yeah, you're not equipped to hold that one. Yeah, this is fine. Let's see if we're just going to monkey jump from here. While our backline is going to monkey, backline got there roughly at the same time. That's okay. Oh, I, I don't like how we regrouped our monkey with our team, but it's alright, I guess he's trying to go aggressive. Yeah. 
we lost like two or three kills right at the start of the fight, uh, which always makes like two CP close to impossible to kill all of them like immediately afterward. Mm -hmm. Or you like trade out three early on, or you trade out like a similar number for the number you lose, and then they'll just out fight the remaining people for it until the end of time. Yeah. Gotta hit TCP. Again, I, I, I don't think there's much support that they can get there. Uh, it wasn't that bad. Uh, I, but it was better than the first time. But, better than the first time, but yeah. I won't, I won't, I won't, you know. it still wasn't the best. Yeah. It wasn't, wasn't the best, right? Like, I don't, I don't like that we approach it like this. Right, because yeah, again, monkey drops, he, he had some help, right? Well, I think the big thing is like when a monkey jump is jumping, our Ana needs to be going over this high ground already, right? Yeah. This is okay. I mean, I, the same idea, right? If our monkey's jumping, our on needs to be peeking this, right? Um, so that way we we get value from our back line at the same time as we're getting value from the front line, right? Could our Ana be here if the if the Zarya plays more aggressively? Uh, is this no, any better? We, we, again, we skipped a lot of steps in map control, so we didn't clear the high ground behind us. So this becomes really risky. Um, so we're, this is why I was I was thinking that the Ana should go over the wall instead. We're not at least able to blow up a peek over the wall. Uh, because like playing main again is like very risky, um, or anywhere close to main if you haven't actually yeah. cleared the high ground behind you. But when we jump this, we clear everything in between pretty much, right? Yeah. So playing that side, playing the right side of the map becomes very, very safe, right? Yeah. As an Ana. I see you play up here. I have to turn off the. Oops. Yeah. So what eventually yeah. wins this for us? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I assume like at some fight. point we just outfrag them. <laughs> it might be right now. Oh, yep. Yeah. Ross is at a nice 100 charge. Oh, you can't suck that. Alright, yeah. Well, easy. Okay. Yep. Um, that it then? Yeah, I That's think so. I need to go over, right? Yep. Alrighty. Um, then I'm going to go upload this. So, yeah. Um, anything that we need to discuss before next practice? Uh,. I think that's it. Um, hopefully next week we're all here, so we can look. At, we can go over the charter and make a new one. Um, and uh, yeah, that's all for me. Alrighty. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and upload this. All right. Have a good night, everyone.